So I have the Visual CAD CAM application loaded. You can either launch the application by selecting the shortcut on your desktop or from the taskbar and load the application. Now, Visual CAD CAM 2016 runs inside the Visual CAD framework and Visual CAD offers you a variety of uh, different CAD modeling tools and also includes a wide range of file translators. So if you take a look at the uh, ribbon bar right at the top of your screen, you have access to your home tab where you can load files from different CAD systems in here. So if you go under the file menu and select the uh, you know, file types, you can see that Visual CAD offers translators to bring in your existing files from Visual CAD, the older Visual Mill files, we have support for loading 3DS files, Illustrator, AMF, DXF, DWG files, IGES, uh, Lightwave files, OBJ, Parasolids, Point Clouds, Native Rhino files, SAT, SketchUp, SLC, STEP, STL, Universal, 3D, and VRML file formats. So Visual CAD supports a wide range of file translators. Now I'm going to go over some of the uh, very nice modeling tools, 2D modeling tools that are offered in Visual CAD and these can be found under the Curve Modeling tab. You could also work in multiple viewports as you create your drawings or you can just maximize it to just stay and work in one viewport. So let's take a look at some of the CAD modeling tools here. All of your 2D Curve Modeling tools can be found under the Curve Modeling tab and I'm going to you know, model something real quick in here using uh, some of the tools and show you the power of these tools that you can use for creating your 2D drawings and then extrude them into a 3D model. So let me go ahead and uh, first create a rectangle. I'm going to rectangle, draw a rectangle with rounded corners in here so I can either pick two corners or enter in the coordinates right up in the command window and I can also specify the radius for the corners. I'm also going to go ahead and throw in a rectangle in here and you can see that as I'm trying to create the rectangle the visual aid tool gives you, uh, you know, help to basically model these uh, drawings and you can basically use these help or help to snap to the appropriate, uh, you know, locations based on the object steps that you have turned on. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a few geometries in here. And what I'm going to do also is show you how we can edit these geometries so you can go up to the object properties in here and then basically select the geometry that you'd like to edit and then enable the edit mode in here. You can make changes. I can drag the node in here or I can even select the circle in here and go back and change my radius. And if you need to make any changes, you want to drag your geometry in here, select the object, use the manipulator and you can basically use the control. So Visual CAD offers you a very nice set of tools to create your geometries. Now I'm going to use the powerful trim command in here and I'm enabling what is called the uh, automatic command recall. And let me go ahead and trim some of these geometries out. So you can see that the trim command remains active as I'm trimming out these geometries. Now next I'm going to cancel out of this command and let's go ahead and merge all of these. I'm going to use the merge command and then select the geometries, right click, and press enter when done. Now it's merged to a closed curve. And if I'd like to go ahead and fill in these corners, rather than having to fill in each of them individually, I'm just going to use the auto fill in command, specify a radius, and then I'll pick the geometry to fill it. Right click and enter, you can see that the corners are now being filled in. I'm also going to go ahead and add some, put some holes in here, and with the help of the visual aids enabled, you'll notice that it automatically gives me indicators to automatically snap to specific areas, and I can specify the diameter for these holes. With the continuous command recall turned on, the command automatically stays active in here and I can keep creating geometries as in, you know, wherever I need them to be. So basically I'm modeling these uh, holes in here, adding some holes to the port and if I also would like to put a pocket in here, I'm going to pick a pocket right there. I'll place a pocket right into the part. Now once I have this part modeled, it's ready for machining. Now if you want to turn them into a 3D model, I can use the uh, extrusion commands either that are available under surface modeling, solid modeling, or under the mesh modeling tools. You can use the extrude commands, select the geometries to extrude, and you can specify an extrusion distance, and if you can choose which direction you'd like to extrude, and you specify height for it, and there's your extrusion. So that's how you can, you know, easily model uh, 2D geometries and turn them into 3D and these are now ready for their uh, CNC machining process. 
So this basically gives you a quick overview of some of the very nice CAD modeling tools that are offered in VisualCAD.